Building wealth and becoming wealthy is a goal that many people aspire to achieve, but for various reasons, the poor rarely take the required actions needed to achieve these dreams. The wealthy take specific steps in obtaining their riches, and in this video, I will be going over the ways in which the rich build wealth, which the poor tend not to follow. But before we dive into the topic, hello and welcome back to our channel, The Wealth Shack. If you're new here, please like and subscribe, and if already subscribed, thank you for your continued support. On this channel, we are helping hardworking people like you to get more out of your hard-earned money by showing you how to use your money in the most effective way. With that being said, let's dive into the video. Here are the ways how the rich continue to build wealth while the poor are stuck in the same situation. 1. Investing. Ever heard of the saying, you can't save your way to being rich? This is 100% true. The rich understand this, which is why they religiously invest their resources, whether it be time or money. Investing provides an opportunity to grow their wealth beyond what they can earn through their regular income or savings. Two of the most popular investment vehicles that the wealthy like to utilize are stocks and real estate. Both stocks and real estate can provide long-term growth potential, which can lead to significant returns on investment. Over time, both asset classes tend to appreciate in value, providing a hedge against inflation. Also, a way in which rich people invest their time is by continuously learning. The most successful people are lifelong learners. Investing time in learning and gaining new knowledge, skills, and experiences can lead to career advancement, better business opportunities, and increased earning potential. For example, skills such as coding, web designing, or copywriting are high-income skills. By dedicating time to learning these types of skills, one can command a high income by charging for your services. 2. Creating multiple streams of income. Very rarely would you see a millionaire with just one stream of income. This is just far too risky, and the rich know this. What happens if they get fired from their job? Or what happens if their business is not making any sales? They say the average millionaire has an average seven streams of income. By diversifying your income stream, this allows you to not rely on one source of income. So, if one stream of income were to fail for some reason, you would still be able to rely on your other sources of income. It is also important to know that it is important to try and create a stream of income that is not solely dependent on you showing up or it does not require too much time and effort. Let's say you work a 9-to-5 job and you are making $20 an hour. The only time you're making money is when you clock into work. So your income is capped at $20 into 8 hours a day, which is $160 a day. Even if you were a robot and you were able to work 24 hours a day, your income would be capped at $480 a day which is great, but now you don't have a social life and you have no time to sleep. However, having a stream of income which does not require you to that does not care how many hours there are in a day and has no limit. This is why investing in income producing assets should be part of one's strategy when creating multiple streams of income, as this will allow you to make money when you are not working. The great Warren Buffet has a great quote regarding this. If you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. Three. Building networks and relationships. Have you ever heard of the saying, your network is your net worth? The rich often build networks and relationships with other wealthy individuals, entrepreneurs, and investors. One example of the importance of building relationships can be seen in the story of Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook. Zuckerberg was able to build a successful business by leveraging his relationships. He started by building a network of contacts at Harvard, where he met his co-founder, Eduard of Saverin. Zuckerberg then leveraged his network to expand Facebook's user base and attract investors. By building relationships with key stakeholders, Zuckerberg was able to build a successful business that generated billions of dollars in revenue. Having strong relationships with the right individuals can provide access to new opportunities, such as investment opportunities or potential partnerships. By networking and building relationships, you may discover new business ideas, gain access to investment opportunities, or find potential clients or customers for your business. These opportunities can help you grow your wealth and achieve your financial goals. The wealthy leverages these opportunities, while the poor often lack the social connections needed to gain a competitive edge. 4. Pursuing entrepreneurship. Having a 9-to-5 is a great tool which can be used to build wealth. However, there is a limit to your earning potential. With a 9-to-5, there are only 8 hours where you are getting paid. Whereas by pursuing entrepreneurship, income potential is unlimited. 
As an entrepreneur, you have control over your financial destiny. You are not dependent on a boss or company to determine your income or career trajectory. The richest people in the world, such as Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos all obtain their riches through business and fulfilling customers' needs. Yes, not everyone will become as rich as them, but the fundamental teaching is that entrepreneurship is a great tool for creating wealth. The rich often start their own businesses using their creativity, innovation, and risk-taking ability to create value and generate income. They are often willing to take calculated risks and invest their own money to grow their businesses, while the poor often lack the resources or confidence to start their own businesses. 5. Acquiring Financial Education The rich often have a deep understanding of financial concepts such as budgeting, investing, and wealth management. They acquire financial education through reading books, attending seminars, and seeking out mentors, while the poor may lack access to such education or resources. Overall, the rich often have a different mindset and approach to building wealth, one that emphasizes risk-taking, entrepreneurship, and strategic thinking. They use their money to make more money, while the poor often lack the financial resources or knowledge to do so. 6. Knowing the difference between assets and liabilities. When it comes to building wealth, it's important to understand the difference between assets and liabilities. Assets are things that generate income or appreciate in value over time, while liabilities are things that cost money and decrease in value over time. One of the most critical things to keep in mind during the wealth building phase is to avoid spending money on liabilities, which can drain your resources and hinder your progress towards financial goals. Unfortunately, the poor do not understand this concept. For example, a car may seem like a necessary expense, but if it's financed with high interest debt, it can become a liability that drains your resources and keeps you from building wealth. Similarly, spending money on high-end clothing, luxury vacations, or other status symbols may feel good in the short term, but can ultimately keep you from reaching your financial goals. Instead, during the wealth building phase, it's important to focus on acquiring assets that generate income or appreciate in value over time. This might include things like investing in stocks, buying real estate, starting a business, or developing a valuable skill set that can lead to higher paying job opportunities. By avoiding unnecessary spending on liabilities and instead focusing on acquiring assets, individuals can build a strong financial foundation that can generate wealth over the long term. While it may require sacrifices and discipline in the short term, the benefits of this approach can be significant, including financial security, increased freedom, and the ability to create a better future for yourself and your family. To conclude, it is not secret to why the rich are rich, but this does not mean that if you are not rich, you cannot become rich. No matter where you are in your financial journey, it is important to implement the practices explained in this video in your wealth building journey. Implementing these practices over a long period of time will almost certainly enable you to live a comfortable, rich life in the future. Thank you all for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. See you in the next one.